In this video, we are going to determine uh, T1 and T2, which, is the uh, which are the tensions 1 and tension 2. And as we have been doing in the previous videos, the concept is actually the same where we consider the aspect of the forces in the y direction. Um, when we sum them up, the result or the, the, the resultant when this is in equilibrium must be equal to zero. So the summation of forces in y must be equal to zero, and the summation of forces in x must also be equal to zero. So uh, here we can come up with a free body diagram. So a free body diagram. So this one we have um, this one, which is the T1. Then we have this one which is the, the weight, and then we have this one, which is the T2, then we have this angle, which is 70 uh, degrees, then we have this, which is 60 degrees. <coughs> so we can draw a line here, which can help us now to, okay. So, so that this one becomes a 90 and 90, minus 70 we have a 20 degrees here and the alternate angles if we recall, uh, we recall our mathematics we're going to have a 60 degrees here so from this point we can now express this in x and y components so we have this one and also this one so the Forces in X, we have this one, so this one will be T for 60 degrees, and then this one will be T, okay, so this is T1, this is T2, for 20 degrees. So in the Y direction, we have T1, so T1, which is this one, this side is 60 degrees, and then this one we have T2, sine 20 degrees so the summation of forces summation of forces in x is equal to zero so we have this one okay so this is 60 degrees as we have seen from there so this is 20 20 degrees so we have T2 cos 20 degrees, then T1 cos 60 degrees. So T2 minus, this must be equal to zero so that, okay, when this one crosses the, the other side, on the other side, so it will be T1 cos 60 degrees, which is equal to T2 Cos 20 degrees, so we can divide throughout by cos 60, also here by cos 60 degrees, so that this and this will cancel, we're going to have T1 is equal to T2 cos 20 degrees over cos 60 degrees, so let us call this as equation 1. Then we also know that the summation of forces in Y must also be equal to zero. So summation of forces in Y must also be equal to zero. So we have, so this one, okay, which is Z1 sine 60 degrees. Then we have this one, which is this one. Since it is pointing downwards, it will be minus T2 sine 20 degrees then we have the weight here minus weight this will give us a zero so that um t1 sine 60 degrees minus t2 uh, sine 20 degrees this must be equal to when this crosses the cosine it will be weight and uh, we know that weight is equal to 40 newton
ketones so we can plug in this so we have t1 so t1 is equal to this and weight is equal to this so we have t1 we have t2 cos 20 degrees over cos 60 degrees then we have sine 60 here sine 60 degrees minus t2 uh, sine 20 degrees that must give us 40 newtons so when we so this one it can give us what we, it is going to give us is this will be t2 uh, t2 cos 20 degrees then sine 60 degrees over cos 60 degrees that will give us tan 60 degrees minus t2 sine 20 degrees which is equal to 40 newtons so this one punching this one I get a cos 20 degrees than 60 degrees minus sine 20 since it is that to t is common we are going to have 1.2855 t2 which will give us 40 newtons is equal to 40 newtons so to say and then from here We can say one point, we can round it off, 1.2862. This will give us 40 newtons. So divide by 1.286, 1.286. Okay, so that this and this will cancel. What we're going to have is T2 is equal to at one point <coughs> point one newtons point one newtons so this is the value for t um for t2 but since we know that we know that t1 is equal to t2 cos 20 degrees over cos 60 degrees so we can just put this in this and we're going to have so this one will be Three one point one, and from this, what we're going to get is when we punch on the calculator, we're going to have five eight point four five, which can be rounded off to five eight point five newtons. So this is it, the answer to this question. So T one is is equal to thirty one point one newtons. T2 is equal to 31.1 newtons. Thank you so much for watching the video.